The controversial vote over Israel's proposed nationality law has failed to gain a majority in the Knesset because of infighting within the coalition. The law would officially cement Israel's character as a Jewish state, but opponents say it's discriminatory at best and intentionally racist at worst. Now, here to help us discuss the, this further are Adi Arbel of the Institute for Zionist Strategies and Sharon Abraham Weiss, an attorney and the executive director of the Association for Civil Rights in Israel. All right, thanks for joining us. Now, the big question, do you agree with this law? Why or why not? Should I start? Um, yeah, go ahead. We don't agree with this law. I think it's challenging the democratic uh, identity and character of Israel, and um, hence it shouldn't be, sh shouldn't pass in, in this way. Um, should I get into the details? Of, well, uh, well, Adi, why don't you give okay. your take on this as well? And we, we are strongly uh, pro this law okay. because actually in Israel we have uh, almost we have 13 basic laws define Israel as a democratic state. What's the meaning of a democratic state? We don't have any basic law that define the Jewish character mm -hmm. of the state. And and, and and in what ways do you believe that this would be, I guess, challenging the democracy of the state of Israel? So there are three things that we refer to. One is the subordinate, subordinating the uh, democratic uh, character of Israel into the uh, Jewish character of Israel. At this stage, the status quo is speaking about a Jewish and democratic state. So the, the, the suggested law is going to say that the Jewish uh, law is prevailing. This is one thing. The other thing is the uh, Arab minority. 20% of the Israeli citizens belong to the Arab minority. And this law says that this minority is, uh, is not getting its rights, not as individual and not as collective. In, uh, housing uh, and in the language, which is now an official language in Israel, is not going to be an official anymore. And the third thing, thing is the religious uh, um, dominance in the country, and this is going to harm the equality of women and other minorities. So, so Adi, what I'd like to ask you is, you know, what, what do you say to opponents who say that this is discriminatory um, against non-Jewish citizens? What is your take on that, since you're in support of this bill? Yeah, it's, it's, uh, there is no discrimination in this law, because actually every nation has the right to self-determination. Mm -hmm. And the state of Israel, that's the, that's the, that's the self-determination form of, for the Jewish people. Uh, it, it doesn't mean that uh, any individual does not have a full right like uh, all the citizens and exactly like the uh, Jews who are minorities in other countries uh, and they get their rights. Here we have a, a majority of a Jew for, for uh, as a so Jew. So would there be any change? I mean, what does this law mean? Is there any change on the ground in terms of how citizens are treated? Um, if so, what would those changes be? And, uh, you know, why would it be a conflict in the first place if there aren't any changes? So, so the change is actually, uh, this, this law is kind of a reaction. It's a reaction for, uh, uh, to petitions to the Supreme Court of Israeli Arabs and, and, uh, and the leftist organizations who are, who are basically against the idea of Israel as a Jewish state. Not only, not Jew, uh, also as a Jewish and democratic state. Here, here is my fellow sitting next to me. Uh, he, she's a part of the Associa Association of Civil Rights uh, uh, in Israel. And that NGO is, is uh, proactive against the definition of Israel as a Jewish and democratic state. I disagree. I I, I, <laughs> in, in 2007, so, so, in 2000. Well, I, I'd like to hear what her, her okay. response is. So I disagree. Uh, we are for the definition, a communal uh, definition uh, for the Jewish minority. But at the same time, this identi identity and the definition should, as, a, as a class should be to the minority as well. And I'll give you examples. What, how, what are the implications on the ground? So if there's no right to equality but subordination to the religion, it, it has implication about women. The women's status today, according to the civil law, is equal. According to uh, the religious, is not always uh, equal. Another example is about the Arab minority, that today it's a formal language in Israel, so uh, the forms in the government are supposed to be in both languages. And All it's right. not going to be there anymore afterwards. All right, well, thank you both so much for joining us to, to tell us, uh, give us a more in-depth uh, look at this law.